Hello everyone, how are you today? Thank you for joining on this another video session. So this is not the live stream, but this is a video session because uh, I need to go and see my family tonight in Japan time. So that's why I decided to d take a video and upload on this YouTube today. So today's topic is about the gold and I would like to mention about the time cycle and the price theory of Ichimoku. So hopefully you enjoy today's video session today. So let me squeeze my face here. Okay, so this video is recorded at uh, 7.53 a.m. in UTC time zone. And before standing here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is based on my own understanding, experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. So let's see. So today, just earlier I posted uh, this uh, gold analysis. So based on this, I will talk about um, the gold today. So this is my new Forex uh, uh, trading view account. This is Forexk-official is my new account, so you can follow me on the trading view. And also, uh, this is linked to my Twitter account. So if you can access to my Twitter account also, Forexk, then uh, you will see my post as well. So here is the gold at Ichimoku V target and also the next scenario. So um, Ichimoku actually has five lines Kumo, Senko Span, BA and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen and Chikou Span. These are the basic five lines of Ichimoku and in, in addition to these um, there are three theories called uh, wave theory and time theory and price theory. And also uh, there is Kyushulex too. Kyushulex is a part of Ichimoku strategy as well. But today I would like to mention about the time cycle and also price target and then uh, combine with the uh, Ichimoku 5 lines and give you the overview of this gold and see what's happening right now. So this is the daily chart gold. And first of all, I post it like this. Um, you can access to this uh, this uh, post because this is open for public but um, if you can just read here uh, gold daily chart shows that the market has reached to the V target at 1793.27 level on the 21st of April so two days ago the market reached to the V target so in Ichimoku there are four targets V target and N target and E target and also NT target uh, these are the basic four targets Actually, there are more to it. There are more uh, names and a definition of targets, but basically these are the basic four targets. And among these four, four targets, on the 20, 21st of April, the market reached to the V target. So let me explain um, how you can capture the V target. So this is the real chart and gold on the daily chart, the daily time frame. And um, so first of all, um, let me just delete these lines and um, see how you how I captured these time cycles. So every time uh, you look for the price target, uh, you have to have the time cycles and also the wave analysis. So first you capture the time cycles. So in this case, since the 31st of March, exactly on this day since uh, 31st of March this was the bullish candle and after this the market has been in bullish in the wave this is obvious that the market is in bullish in the wave it broke the previous resistance level at uh, this uh, 1759.09 and this is on currently on the, the end wave so and this is the beginning of the end wave the 31st of March and from here, you count the number of candles to the next high and low and see if this is one of the Kihon Suchi numbers. So Kihon Suchi number is the series of numbers of Ichimoku that are considered to be very important psychologically. So Kihon Suchi, first Kihon Suchi number is 9 and then uh, there are there is 17 and 26 and 33 and 42 two and on and on. So these are the series of 
the Kihon Suchi numbers. And in these forex markets or commodities, oftentimes I see the time cycles on 9, 17, 26. Uh, sometimes I see 33, 42, or uh, 51, but most often the time I see 9 and 17, 26. And because um, these are the basic uh, time cycles, after all, 33 or 42 and onwards are basically the combination of these uh, numbers, basic Kihon Suchi numbers. So from here, um, I manually count, I manually uh, count the number of candles to the next high and low. And on this trading view, I use this uh, tool, I use this uh, uh, measurement tool. So, and here's a little bit trick, but uh, every time you measure the number of candles, uh, you want to start one candlestick before. Because uh, if I just click, if I just le uh, left click like this, then uh, it shows zero bar. It shows a zero bar here. You see, so uh, the current candle or this existing candle is counted as zero in trading view. So, but Ichimoku takes the current candle as one. So in order to count it correctly in Ichimoku way, you have to make this lowest low on the 31st of March as one, not zero. And that's why every time I measure and I count the number of candles, I start one candlestick before. So this is a big trick. Sometimes I've seen traders count um, from exactly from this current forming candlestick and going onwards like this. But in this case, there is one candlestick displacement. You have to start from uh, you, you start you, sh you have to start from one candlestick before to make it uh, this 31st of March candlestick as one. You see, this is now one bar. So this one is one, number one, and two, and three, four, five, six. So up to here, uh, 8th of April is the sixth candle. You can count uh, number one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the sixth number, right? So this way, uh, if you just count from uh, one candlestick before, then it makes it six. But once again, if you count from exactly on the exist existing candle, then this becomes only five. And this is not the correct way to count the number of candles in Ichimoku way. So this is a bit trick. Sometimes uh, the platform offers uh, these uh, measurement tools, but uh, you have to know how it counts, the number of candles. So here we have six numbers to the previous high on the 8th of April, and six is not the Kihon Suchi number. Seven is a Kihon Suchi number, uh, sorry, um, nine is a Kihon Suchi number, but six is not. So in this case, I pass this. I pass this one and I go, I drag it to the next low, which is 13th of April. And on the 13th of April, there are 9 candles in between. So 9 is the Kihon Suchi number. So this is good. So this is called the V-Wave. After you capture time cycle, then you analyze whether this is on the N-Wave, or V-Wave, or I-Wave. In this case, this was the V-Wave, and the market reached to the 31st of April retracement. And this is 9 bars. And as a Kihon Suchi, this is the decent time cycle. So after the 31st of March uptrend, you can see that the next Henkabi is the 13th of April. So this is the basics of Ichimoku so far. And here, from here, so since we have 9 candles as Kihon Suchi number, then you start counting again from the 13th of April and to the future. To the future like this, 9 bars. And 9 bars will be exactly here, 23rd of April, which is today. So today is the next Henkabi. And looks like now the market is bullish, and this is an I wave. This is on the bullish I wave, and the market reaching to the high here. 
like this. However, um, if you see the candles uh, yesterday and the day before, the market was above the current forming candlestick. So in this case, there is a one or two candles shift like this. And uh, as a result, on this I wave, it was only eight bars. So nine candlestick bullish and V wave and another I wave formed on the next eight bars up to the 22nd of April. And this is simply combined time cycles with the wave theory. So, I hope so far so good. And uh, so, if you get this time cycle and wave theory, wave analysis, then the next thing you can do is to capture the price target and see why the market has been retracing backwards at this price level. And I mentioned that this is in the V target. So the market reached to the V target uh, on the 21st of April. So 21st of April was here on this bullish candle. So uh, two days before, the market reached to the V target. And the V target is, um, if you can uh, watch my uh, past 1 to 5 video series, I explained exactly how these candlesticks and how these uh, price targets are. But uh, briefly, uh, you know, explaining this V target. V target is uh, when you, so let's say you have this uh, point A on 31st of March and point B on this um, on this uh, 8th of April. Let me put the vertical line here too. And then C point on this um, 13th of April. So you have A, B, C point and you can capture the D target by these four basic price theories. And in this case, V target offers, you take the pips in between B and C like this. You take the pips, you take the pips in between B and C. And then simply, you add these pips on top of B. On top of B like this. So basically, this is going to be the V target. You see, so once again, uh, on this A, B, and C wave, you take the pips in between B and C and add it on top of B. This becomes an V target. So now, since you get the V target at this uh, 1795, the market reached to that level on the 21st of April. And that's what I meant by this first line. Gold daily chart shows that the market has reached to V target at 1793.27 uh, level on 21st of April. So this is the first understanding. So this is uh, 1795, 1793, around that level, the market reached to that price level. And this is roughly on the V target. And then the market has been retracing backwards since yesterday. And today, still, this is a uh, doji candlestick where the start price and close price is around the same level. This is the doji candle forming right now. So, this is the analysis until up until today. So, here is how you can expect the next market move. Um, so, if we can create scenarios from here by using Ichimoku lines and price theories in wave analysis too. So um, here is the next scenario. So right now, um, below is Ichimoku five lines analysis. So here, you have to look at the five lines as Ichimoku too. So if you see five lines right right now currently, uh, the single span B flat and A is flat. Kumos get thinner here, so it's losing its market volatility here. And also uh, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat also. So this is the sign of range. Price is also exactly in the Kumo here, so this is ranging and markets consolidating in the daily chart. However, um, this is bullish momentum because the Chikou span is above the candles. Chikou span shows the market momentum 
whether it's bullish or bearish momentum. So when Chikou span above the candles, then this means that this is bullish momentum. So we can ex we can still expect that the market goes up and breaks the Senko span B level upwards, and that will become a Sanyak Koten signal, and it can go up continuously afterwards. However, if the market retraces backwards from here, then a Chikou span will come down like this. And when you see Chikou span touches with the candles, then uh, that will be in a completely range. So you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore. So in this condition, once again, uh, we don't have any clues as to which way the market is going uh, as per Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen. So I would focus on the Chikou span in this case. And as long as Chikou span above the candles, I continuously look for the buy chance. So that's one of the scenarios. However, the price has been, the market has been resisted at this uh, V target. So, and since the market has reached to the V target before the Henkabi, and now it's retracing backwards, so it might consolidate and retrace backwards to the Tenkan Sen, because uh, we had the support by the Tenkan Sen previously on this uh, 15th of April. So the price could retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen because it's flat and touches with the Tenkan Sen and it goes up this way continuously. That could be also a scenario too. And if it breaks the V target or the previous resistance level, then it can continuously go up like this. And exactly this V target is the previous support level too. From um, from over here, from the third, uh, from the fourth of February this year. There was a support level here too, so the price can retest this uh, previous support level exactly at the V target, and it might be resisted here and going backwards too. So to be safer, I would wait for the V target breakout and also Kumo breakout and look for buy chance afterwards. Because um, the price could still retrace backwards to Kijun, uh, to a Tenkan Sen in this case. However, if today's daily chart is bullish, and then uh, it can break the V target today or tomorrow, or sorry, the Monday or Tuesday, and then um, that will make the market breaks the Kumo earlier than these timings. In that case, simply I take the Kumo breakout after V target breakout and look for the buy chance then. So these are two poten potential scenarios. But once the market reverses backwards, then simply I won't look for buy chance anymore. So by combining these um, Ichimoku 5 lines and uh, the wave analysis, time cycle, and price target, you can also expect which way the market is going and when you can come back to chart and look for the next trade opportunities. And also, uh, since we have this time cycle of uh, 8 bars, um, you can also expect the next Henkabi. So this is 9 bars, once again, between 31st of May until the th 13th of April. And also from here to 22nd of April was also 8 bars. So here, um, you can expect the next Henkabi. If the market continues to go up, then the next Henkabi can be uh, on the uh, on either 3rd of, Mar 3rd of May, sorry. Uh, 3rd of May is going to be 8 bars from 22nd of April, or it can be the next day. 4th of May is the next Henkabi. So we can expect around this area, if the market breaks the V target and Kumo breakout, then the market continuously go up until these days and retrace backwards and then continuously go up can be also expected on this time cycle. Because um, if you see this time cycle in the previous chart, this is um, just free information, but the, uh, if you see the past chart as well, these are in 9 and 10 time cycles. Because uh, if you take this uh, 31st of March and going backwards, so you have to start one candlestick 
to the future and start counting like this. And the next high, the, sorry, the previous high was 10 bars. So this was a time cycle, 10, very close to 9. And this was in I wave. This was on I wave like this. And before the 18th of March, going backwards to the previous low, this was also, I think it was 9 or 10. Yeah, this was also 9 bars previously. So from here too, from 8th of March, the market has been in time cycle of 9 and 10. So 9 bars I wave and also another 10 bars bearish I wave. And then after this 31st of March, the market has been bullish initially in the V wave bullish and then now it's an I wave bullish trend. And now it's retracing backwards since the market has reached to the next Henkabi here. So that we can expect if the market persists uptrend, then uh, it can go up to around these days, 3rd of May or 4th of May, if the market breaks the V target and also the Kumo breakout. And eventually you will see the Kumo up and Kijun Sen up also. Chikou span of course will be above the candles and then you will start to see the next continuous uptrend like this. So this is based on the daily chart. This is based on the daily chart. And also, um, like I mentioned before, I also follow the 4-hour chart trend. Like I mentioned before uh, on this scenario, uh, you can also create the 4-hour chart scenario because I still see the 4-hour chart is bullish also. So we can still follow the 4-hour chart bullish trend as long as market is above the Kijun Sen. So let me switch it to the 4-hour chart. In 4-hour chart, you still see the market has been above the Kijun Sen in this uptrend. So I still expect the market go up on this above Kijun Sen and it goes up this way in the 4-hour chart. However, if the market breaks the Kijun Sen downwards in 4-hour chart, then it might retrace backwards to the Kumo. So it's not really the good timing for to looking for buy chance anymore. This is based on the 4-hour chart. And right now, the Chikou span touching with the past candles. So we have to wait until the Chikou span uh, takes away from the candles or the price goes up like this. And then you can look for the buy chance in 4-hour chart and expect the market goes up continuously and breaks the V target. Breaks the V target and also Kumo Senko span B break L in the daily chart. This is also my scenario too, because every time I see charts, I look at the daily chart and also the forward chart by using Ichimoku like this, so that I can have more timings and more opportunities for the market to, to, uh, to take trades. So yeah, these are the scenarios and these are some things that I posted on this trading view today. So uh, you can, uh, Feel free to comment and also uh, enjoy my analysis onwards. So I will keep I will keep these lines uh, from onwards from today, and as time goes on, I will cover the future market as well like this, so that we can expect which way the market goes and how the market behaves afterwards, uh, because we never know. Um, the market might break the V, v target Kumo, but it also can go downwards after this. It can go down like this. And um, hold on, let me do this. It can go like down like this and up. And this might become a V wave and afterwards it might go downwards too. And this next Henkabi. So I will keep these lines and report real time as the market progresses and this time cycles. So I hope you enjoyed today's analysis of Ichimoku time cycle, price theory, and also waves along with the Ichimoku five lines. And in my Ichimoku community, um, I talked about the uh, this gold. I talked about the gold yesterday in more details, 
and also a euro USD and a couple of other markets by these time cycles price targets. So if you master, if you want to master these theories, you can always welcome to join my Ichimoku community and master all these uh, theories and also more depth of Ichimoku. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video session. If you liked it, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I, as I do these videos and lives every day. So uh, today is Friday, so happy Friday everyone. I hope you're having a great Friday and also uh, the weekend. And uh, I will see you on the next video or live stream. So until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Alright, bye for now everyone. Matane. Thank you.